Hey guys, Wasri here again with an Ancient Invention video. Today's video is going to be focused on perking out your gear with the new Ancient Invention gizmos. I should start off with a disclaimer that these will not necessarily be the best in slot perks, but instead be a near best in slot perk while taking the cost into consideration. Much smarter and better PVMers than me have already created a perk list for the absolute best in slot perks and combinations to use. So shout out to Shadowfox and others who made up that list. I've left the link to their wiki page in the description of the video. All costs and probabilities are based on 120 invention and using an extreme invention potion unless otherwise noted. This guide assumes you know what all the perks do, you just want to know the best way to combine them all together. We're going to be starting off with mage and range two hand weapons. Any sort of aftershock 4 combo was ignored due to the high cost. This means that equilibrium was put back with a precise combo. In comparison with best in slot perks, you will lose one rank of precise and one rank of ruthless. Should you want an even cheaper option, you can go for precise 6 instead of precise 5 equilibrium 2 at the cost of a little bit of DPS. Moving on to the dual wield weapons, we want to have precise 6 aftershock 1 on the main hand so that for all of our offhand switches we maintain aftershock stacks. In terms of the offhands, we will want one offhand to have the flanking 4 perk. To get this perk, you will need to lower your invention level. This can be done by attacking Gorax or sitting outside the God Wars dungeon entrance. The ideal level is 52 with a 81.56% chance. Lunging is a relatively niche perk for mage range as when you can walk the bosses better to not have the perk and when you are in group bosses you don't want to stack bleeds on top of each other. But if you want a lunging 4 switch this is how you get it. Continuing on we have the plant defeat switch and a T90 defender switch. The planted feet switch only requires a regular gizmo as you can get to 100% within the 5 slots. The defender is useful as it's able to have ruthless 3 on it, which means for scenarios where ruthless is good, say killing minions at a boss like P5 Telos, or on Slayer, you can use it instead of a regular offhand to get that 7.5% DPS boost. Now moving on to the armor gizmos. The best in slot perk guide has us comboing Biting 4 with Mobile and Impatient 4 with Devoted 4. However, I decided that the cost of the Biting 4 combo gizmo was not worth the small benefit it gains. Instead, I have Impatient 4 Mobile and Biting 4 on the top. The downside to not comboing Biting 4 with Mobile is that we will use the fourth perk slot on Enhanced Devoted 4, losing out on a potential other perk like Invigorating 4. Crackling 4 plus Relentless 5 is a must-have combo as it's one of the best perks in the game. Moving into the melee weapons, our base two-handed weapon setup will be the same as Range and Mage. The recently released Spear of Annihilation has a special effect that makes bleeds last 50% longer than normal. This means that you're going to want to make the Spear your regular lunging switch for melee. I decided to combo the lunging with Undead Slayer as that perk is great for ED3. But if you don't need the perk, you can just get base lunging 4. On top of your main bossing melee weapon, you're probably going to want an AoE weapon for Slayer, which means you want Ruthless 3 on it to get the 7.5% DPS increase. There are two options for the second gizmo. If you don't care about using this weapon while bossing, feel free to just get Precise 6 as Aftershock won't do much when you're just slaying and it's one fourth the cost. Melee, as you don't want mobile on all the time, specifically so you can gain adrenaline from barge, we put it on our enhanced Excalibur, which will be in our inventory anyways. The crystal dagger is there as your skilling offhand, which will give 4% more XP. Moving into the melee armor perks, it's the same as the range and mage setup, except for we don't have impatient 4 comboed with anything. There will be some niche perks like undead slayer, dragon slayer, or demon slayer that you could try to fit in there if you wanted to, but I felt they weren't worth the cost. And the melee bottoms are identical to the range and mage bottoms. For shields, we have our T90 shields, which will have turtling 4 on it in order to have a longer barricade. With the ranch out of time perk and this perk, your cade can last almost 20 seconds. The spirit shields, which will be used for high damage attacks, have prioritized lucky instead of absorptive. The other option is absorptive 4, which provides more damage soaking on average, but doesn't reduce the damage to zero like Lucky does. Moving into Slayer, we have Kraken 4 and Relentless 5 as a must-have perk on the top, and then the second perk can kind of be whatever you want, but I found that Undead Slayer Mobile provided me the best result. Due to the rarity of Scavenging 4, I like to have Hybrid Slayer bottoms on, so I don't need to get Scavenging 4 for each of the styles, and because I'll be using this on Slayer, 
I decided to put the second gizmo as Genocidal Demon Slayer to always get that boost while on Slayer. Moving into the skilling portion of this guide, we are going to be going for Pyromaniac 6 and Rapid 2 and Tinker 4 as that's the highest combination of all of them you can get. However, if you don't want to spend the extra time going for Pyromaniac 6 Rapid 2, Pyromaniac 5 Rapid 2 is a good alternative as you only lose out on 0.1% chance to empty your inventory. Similar thing for smithing, we want to make sure we get Tinker 4 on our hammer and if you're not going to be AFKing smithing, make sure you get Rapid 4 as it drastically increases your XP per hour at the cost of AFKness. For the main gathering skills, you're going to want a very standard setup of Hone 6 and Furnace 4 with the only exception being going for Fortune 3, Imp Sold 2 or 3 if you are planning on making money with the skill. So for example, if you're doing Crystal Urchins with Fishing, then you put Furnace on. But if you're at Sailfish, you would put Fortune 3, Imp Sold 2 or 3 on. And finally, we have the newest skill, Archaeology, which is essentially just the inverse of what we just had with the other gathering skills. As a standard, you're gonna want uh, Fortune 3 and Imp Sold 3 due to the massive porter cost. But if you happen to be someone who wants to spend a lot of money to increase your XP per hour, make sure to get Furnace 4, Fortune 3 instead. And that's gonna do it for today's guide on Ancient Invention and the perks associated with it. If you like the video, feel free to like it. If you enjoyed the video and want more of this similar content, subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Have a good one.